Hi, my name is Nick, and today I'm going to show you guys the new pre-joining meeting experience. And this is actually a really useful feature, and I'm going to go through all the different ways um, that you can get your setup sorted before actually joining a video meeting in Microsoft Teams. So guys, if you do find this useful, hit that like button for me, and if you're new here, do consider subscribing to the channel. By subscribing, you will be kept up to date with all the videos that we do here for that office guy. And with that said, let's jump on over to Microsoft Teams, and I'll show you just how to use this new pre-join experience. Okay, so here I am just on the um, That Office Guy general channel. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hop on over to the calendar quickly here, and I'm gonna click on Meet Now. This is going to launch a new meeting, um, and I'm just gonna maximize this so you can see that, that what I'm talking about here. So this is the new meeting, uh, or pre-join meeting experience, guys. Um, so ultimately you have uh, the ability to toggle the camera on and off over here, uh, and, and obviously add background effects. And the little gear icon, I'll get into that in a moment as well. And then on the right hand side, we have a couple of things here. We obviously have the ability to change our computer audio, our room audio, or do not use audio at all. Um, so for example, if I were to tick that, then we'll just be muted. Um, join muted to avoid causing disruption. And obviously, if you're using rooms, you can go ahead and select a room as well uh, and make sure that uh, your Bluetooth is automatically detected by nearby rooms. Um, so you basically, you know, it's really easy to kind of go in use uh, Microsoft Teams rooms. Now, I'm gonna click on computer audio and obviously from here, we can do a custom setup on that as well. But let's start over on the left-hand side of this screen. For starters, we can obviously um, turn our camera on and off, just toggling this button over here. And um, since I'm using my webcam, I cannot do that for you um, and, and demonstrate that. But basically, you have the ability to turn your camera on and off there. Once your camera is activated, you'll also be able to apply any background effects that you want to use, such as a blur background or use a custom background image. Um, so really useful to do that before you join the meeting. Over here, we have the little gear icon, so I'm going to give that a click. That opens up the device settings over here on the right-hand side. So from here, we obviously have the audio custom setup. We have the speakers and the microphone that we're using, along with a um, camera as well. So we can choose multiple different cameras if we have them, etc. Okay, so that's what the gear icon does. Over here on the right-hand side, we have the ability, as I said, to choose what kind of audio we want to do, and also be a we have the ability to change our audio as well, right? So under computer audio, where I have this ticked, we have the custom setup. That is then highlighted over here. So it says that I'm using my Logitech StreamCam microphone, um, and I'm also using my headphones from my Rode NT USB mini microphone, right? Um, so I can click this button and it will open up the device settings in the same way that the gear icon does as well. And if I wanted to, I can change my speaker output and my microphone from here, along with the camera as well. I'm going to close that down for now. Um, obviously, if I was on the phone, I'd be able to use a phone audio if, on here as well. Um, but I don't, so I'm just going to leave that there. Like I said before, if we have a room set up, then we could also use a room um, for our audio as well. Um, we don't have that set up at the moment, so um, I'll have to just use computer audio. Or as I said before, we can tick the don't use audio button here, and that will basically allow us to join a meeting completely muted. Once you're happy with all your pre-set up um, settings here, what you can then do is go ahead and actually go ahead and click on the join now button. If we click on join now, that then sends us directly into the meeting, right? Um, and obviously all of those settings have been applied. We can see that there is audio turned off. We can see that we have um, our uh, camera turned off as well. We have all those other settings already good to go. Now, obviously, if you wanted to change anything, we can head over to the more actions at the top here, come from here and find the um, device settings, click on device settings and straight away when we can change everything as well. So if we wanted to unmute ourselves, we can do that here. We can obviously do that here as well. And um, we have the ability to change our, our speakers and our headphones uh, and anything else that we wanted to do here in terms of camera as well. So we can always get back to the um, more settings to be able to have a look uh, and change whatever our preset up was, okay? So really useful feature guys to make sure that you know how to, to go about doing that. And likewise, if you wanted to apply background effects after you've joined a meeting, you can also do that in the standard way that you've always been able to. So really useful, guys, to, to just kind of know how to, to go about doing that. Um, and yeah, guys, it's really straightforward and simple. Uh, I can turn that on, I can turn audio on, for example, and I can mute that microphone if I need to. Um, so guys, 
This is a really quick and easy tutorial um, to follow just so that you can get your heads around this new feature um, that's been launched by Microsoft Teams. Uh, it does help you enhance um, your pre-setups, making sure you're not going to miss out on anything uh, as you move forward um, with a video meeting. So guys, if you did find this useful, then do hit that like button for me. And as always, if you're new here, do consider subscribing to the channel. By subscribing, you will be kept up to date with all of the videos that we do here for that office guy. And with that being said, I hope you have a fantastic day, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.